morning. Um, can I start by congratulating all of our seniors on the SQA results that they received yesterday? Um, certainly, these follow the most unusual end of term in Scottish examination history. Many of you will be delighted with the marks that you received yesterday. Some of you may well have queries. Um, and just to let those of you who need to get in contact with the school know that Mrs Whitehead, um, DHT, who coordinates um, the SQA, she is currently responding to any queries as pupils are in contact with her um, as part of the post-certification process. And she will liaise with school staff once they're back in the building um, from next Monday and will keep um, pupils and parents abreast of all developments. Moving forward to the start of our new term. Um, finally time for Mint Lock Academy, um, aligning with all schools across Scotland to begin to get back to something approaching more normal. All the planning that we have carried out is based on key documentation that has been issued prior to and in fact over the summer break. Um, Mint Lock will open as a school for staff next Monday and we'll be making sure that we are adhering to the guidance set out both by the Scottish Government and supporting evidence, supporting guidance that's come out from Aberdeenshire Council. Um, by next Monday, we'll have a risk assessment for the school in place and we'll also have for pupils and for parents specific school specific information contained in our evolving Mintlaw Academy recovery manual. A finalised version of our manual will be updated um, and uploaded onto the website end of the day, Monday the 10th of August, following the opportunity to consult with staff next Monday on any last minute changes. All of the documents that I've referenced just now and those documents that are core um, to us starting back into next week, each of these documents are available um, for pupils and for parents to view or to upload um, on our website and updates will be added to those as are necessary. As we explained to um, parents and to pupils last term, in order to ensure a safe return for all our pupils, we're starting with a phased return um, from next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, um, the 12th of August, S3 will return to Mintlock Academy. Next Thursday, the 13th of August, S4, S5 and S6 will return to the building. Um, and next Friday, the 14th of August, we will welcome back S2. The following week, uh, Monday the 17th of August, we will see for our first time as a year group in the school, our new S1. Once a particular year group come into the school, they continue on. It's not a question of one year group comes in one day um, and then we exchange that year group the next day. From the start date, that's you guys back in school permanently, but we're going to phase in because we think in that way um, it will allow for a more um, effective and safe return for everybody. What that does mean is that all pupils will be back in school by the 18th of August as per the guidelines set out by the Scottish Government. I'm sure you'll all be aware um, that over the last couple of weeks following the, the, the Deputy First Minister and then the First Minister, Minister's announcements last week, um, youngsters are coming back to school with no social distancing. Um, certainly guidance is that as far as possible in movement in and around the school, we do try to allow for physical distancing um, where that is possible and that's certainly what we'll try to do. But within the classroom, no social distancing for pupils um, is now necessary. However, it is really important um, to make sure that we all remember uh, pupils um, and indeed staff that there is very much still two metre social distancing between staff and pupils and indeed between staff and fellow staff. Um, and this is something that we will have to, to reinforce and we hope to reinforce with youngsters um, via video assemblies when youngsters return to school um, on the day for their particular year group. What we will have in place, and again, these, were, these are all um, aspects that were shared at the end of last term, but now that it's all becoming a little bit closer, really important um, to share those again. Um, a number of protocols um, are going to be in place when we start off 
um, for staff on Monday and then for, for our pupils from next Wednesday to try and make sure that we do manage to start a return in a safe way. Um, there's a very clear one-way system around the school, but Luck Abbey is not a huge campus. Um, there is a one-way system um, in play here and has always been a one-way system in play. However, um, to be honest, it's not always followed um, maybe entirely robustly. Um, it is really important with that two-metre distance line for staff that the system is followed really carefully um, when everyone begins to come back into the building. So there is a great deal more signage on the walls, on the floor um, to make sure it is as clear as possible and certainly um, will be impressing on youngsters how important it is that that is followed. Um, to try and make sure that there are never too many young people gathered together or entering or exiting the building at the same time, um, our plan is at least in part to stagger intervals, to stagger when youngsters leave for lunch and to stagger youngsters leaving the building at the end of the school day and exactly how that will be um, that, that will take place again we'll share that to, to pupils with, share that with pupils on their, their first day back into the building and the authority has established enhanced cleaning systems for schools and um, to try and make sure obviously that we have everywhere as clean as possible we will have in-house arrangements so that where necessary um, more minimal cleaning, but certainly some cleaning follows individual uh, lessons where one group of youngsters leave and another group comes into the same classroom. Um, there will be sanitizer stations across the school. Hand washing continues to be an absolutely core part um, of dealing with the virus. Um, and we'll have those, we do have those set up across the school campus. However, should your son or daughter wish to take in their own, um, which entirely some of them may want to do, obviously that's absolutely fine. We've had quite a number of queries already about face coverings and about what the, the protocols around about face coverings are. Face coverings, no social distancing for, for youngsters, so face coverings certainly are not required for pupils. Um, they're not required uh, by and large for staff unless, and this is true of some of our staff, unless individual staff have got to work particularly closely um, with individual young persons who perhaps have particular needs. Um, in that case, it may be the case that, that staff do need to, to have face coverings. And also uh, government advice is if, if, if any member of staff is in a one-to-one -one situation with a youngster for 15 minutes or more, um, in that case, face coverings should be worn. Um, so that, of course, is exactly the guidance that we will follow. Any young person, any pupil, however, who does want to wear face coverings, um, clearly that is absolutely fine. Spent quite a lot of time um, prior to the summer break and can I thank you again for the work that you, you, you supported us um, in this with around about school transport. Um, school transport, huge thing for us at Mintlock Academy. 80% um, of our youngsters arrive um, in school, to school by bus. So clear, clearly school transport was always going to be um, one of the, the key drivers and challenges around about a return to school. Um, where we are now is that school transport has been deemed as, as considered to be an extension of the school estate. So what that means is that in terms of actual planned formal school transport, um, no social distancing between pupils is necessary. What there will be is there will be a requirement for social distancing between youngsters towards the front of the bus and the driver and that will be explained by drivers when youngsters first make their way to the bus. There is actually specific guidance which the Scottish Government and Aberdeenshire have issued transport um, operators with and we've actually put that onto the website for you and you can feel entirely welcome to have a little look at that. What I would say is that what is important is first time there is a pickup um, by your son or your daughter, absolutely crucial that they adhere to any advice that is given by the driver, driver on that first day. Any updates as a school staff will make sure that your, your youngsters are aware of those. Can I make the distinction though, school transport, as I say, is an extension of the school estate and there's, there's no need for, for any social distancing on there. We do, however, have a number of youngsters who arrive in school by public transport 
and there the exact guidance that's used on public transport generally has got to be followed. So those of us, our youngsters, most notably coming through from Peterhead on a public service bus, you will have to use face coverings and you would have to adhere to the, the social distancing that is an, currently in operation on public transport. So that caveat, really important for those of you that are not coming on school plan transport but are making your way to Mintlaw Academy by, by public bus. Um, many parents, I'm sure, will continue to drop their youngsters off at the school. Um, and again, there's a bit of a change to that system. Hopefully, it should be fairly obvious with our signage um, when you arrive by car at the school. But just for clarity to let you know that the pupil drop-off zone is going to be located in the second car park, the one on the left after the huts. And parents should enter via the one-way system park up next to the, the newly erected barrier, uh, chain barrier, which you will see. And then there's a fairly clearly um, delineated walkway that the youngsters will join the path leading to the path from McBee. So the signage is all there into that, um, par that car park on the left and making sure that you, you follow the, the signs that we've set up again to make sure that kids um, are able to enter the building as safely as possible. Um, another challenge when we come back from next week and on is catering. Obviously catering, interval and lunchtime um, is one of, the area, one of the points in the day where there are lots and lots of young people in a confined area at a particular point. We spoke about this, um, we had some dialogue with our parent council about this um, pre the, the, the summer break and there was agreement that short term at least um, we would be suggesting that youngsters take a packed lunch. Um, so that is exactly what we're going to do. We had originally suggested until the end of August and um, we are quite keen to get catering up as soon as possible but we do want to start um, in a way that allows us to make sure that we can minimise um, too much crowding um, at the very beginning. So where, where we are just now is for the first two weeks of term, we would ask that all pupils bring a packed lunch into school. Any youngster who is entitled to free school meals will be provided with a packed lunch by canteen staff. Um, we will liaise with those youngsters and parents about that separately. Our plan is already we have um, agreed a meeting with our catering staff in week two of ter the term and we'll have a look to see how things are going and ideally return to a more normal service for the week beginning the 24th of August when we can again get our canteen um, services, our social area services back up and running once we actually see um, how movement around about the canteen and the social area um, both are. We're looking to roll out um, a new app that the catering services have provided, um, which is called Fusion. Some of you may have heard about that. Um, and that is really quite a complex app and it allows pupils to select um, with a degree of sophistication um, in terms of type of bread, if it's a sandwich, fillings, exactly, the youngsters get the opportunity to look at exactly what they want, make their choices, um, and then they order the whole thing in advance um, on their phone. And what we're hoping to have is to have this up and running by the 24th. More detail on that one will follow over the next couple of weeks, but actually does look like an excellent system and certainly to avoid big queues um, at the actual surveys in the canteen and the social area, we will be encouraging as many youngsters as possible to make good use of that. Um, when we come back though from next Wednesday, as I say, packed lunches initially and from Wednesday the 12th, our aim is to have pupils eat lunch outdoors as far as possible. We spoke about this last term. However, we're also going to give over the canteen and the social area as seating areas to actually take their packed lunches in and that will allow at a distance, appropriate two metre distances, staff to observe what's going on. They won't actually be in the middle of the canteen but they will be around the edges um, appropriately metred away from, from the youngsters themselves. Um, key point in terms of, of lunch and break is that short term at least pupils will remain on campus throughout the school day. Again, 
looking forward of course we want youngsters to be able to go into mint law to go to the various places that they're, they're in the, the habit of going for their, their lunch um, but short term um, obviously we need to be really careful we want to make sure that we minimize risk as far as possible so from the moment they arrive in the morning till the point they leave at the end of the school day pupils will remain on campus in terms of the actual curriculum looking forward, as far as possible, S1 to S6 pupils will now follow their normal timetable, which is excellent. However, um, there are going to be, certainly initially, a number of subject areas um, or aspects within subjects that might not be offered um, from the beginning. These include practical drama, certain aspects of PE, practical cookery, and aspects of practical work in both technology and in science. Um, principal teachers were engaged in the planning of this before the holidays, they've been continuing to look at this and in conjunction with their faculty staff what they are looking to do is to reorder um, how the curriculum is, is ordered during session 2021 so that across the year as a whole all areas of all courses will be covered. Also linked to the curriculum, um, I spoke at the beginning there about the SQA exams, the results of which came out yesterday. Um, in terms of next year's SQA exams, which I, I totally accept are, are quite a way off, but I know that some of our seniors will be anxious about that already. At present, the general advice is that these will take place at the end of next session. Clearly though, this is an area that we hope that we will keep you updated on and make sure that we share any emerging advice um, as soon as we actually get that advice. In conclusion, there is absolutely no question that this is going to be a particularly challenging start to the 2021 session. We know that youngsters have been out of school now for five months and entirely understand that both pupils and parents in some cases are going to be really quite anxious about returning. The virus hasn't gone away. In fact, very recently, you'll all be aware that there have been concerns, some actually which have sprung up increasingly locally. We have to actually entirely face the fact that at some point in the future, there may well be outbreaks in and around the Mint Law community. However, as a school community, all our staff, teaching and non-teaching, are absolutely delighted that all youngsters are returning from next week. As I say, Five months is a long time and it's good news for everybody that all youngsters are coming back. We do have a robust risk assessment in place now um, on our website and that will be revisited and updated as necessary to try and make sure um, as a key priority that all pupils and all staff are kept safe. As you're aware, we spent a great deal of time before the summer holidays looking at a blended programme and we're not, going to we're not planning on using that now because all pupils are back following their normal timetables. However, should we need that contingency, that does exist um, and that's something that we will be able to use if we need to, to at any point, um, reconsider um, the, the actual learning, even if that's short term. And as a school, we are in the very, very fortunate position looking forward of being fully staffed. Um, in fact, from next Monday, we're going to welcome three new staff to our English faculty, two new staff to our maths faculty, um, a new member of staff to biology, a new member of staff to drama. Um, as of the week beginning the 17th of August, Mr. Hind, currently principal teacher of technology, is going to take up a one day per week acting DHT post. And as of the same date, Mr McCluskey, currently DHT, is going to take up a one day per week acting head teacher post. So really good to know that we are starting with a very, very full complement of staff and that can only be a good thing for youngsters. In closing, um, it's been good to take this opportunity to, to speak to yourselves, to speak to pupils, to speak to parents. Um, hopefully youngsters are looking forward to coming back in we definitely are very much looking forward to seeing you. 
Um, parents, can I remind you, please, that in line with national guidance, over the short term, you should not be coming into the school building unless school staff specifically request you do that. That's not um, how we would normally have things. It's not what we, we hope continues long term, but it is very much about minimising contact. Um, and as far as possible, we have core staff, we have youngsters um, in the building, and should um, school staff need to, you to, to visit, certainly they will be in touch with you to do that. Um, of course, normal communication out with um, visits will be very much in operation. Guidance staff will be there to, to respond to queries um, and the school office, either by telephone or by email, um, entirely will be able to, to respond and to forward on any queries that you might have. In conclusion, I very much look forward, as do the staff as a whole, to seeing all pupils back um, from next Wednesday and until then, enjoy the rest of your holidays.